want to focus on the foundation of getting your hair in a bun or a ponytail it's pretty much all the same thing in my opinion as far as molding your hair down so it's been a minute since i got out the shower and washed my hair and it's starting to dry so i'm just going to take this mixture of water castor oil and sweet almond oil and just spray it all over my head soaking wet um especially because you're going to add more product later or in a few minutes so you don't want your hair to be dripping wet go ahead and comb out your hair make sure to focus on the ends because you don't want any lumps I don't remember what I was saying. I had to switch memory cards, but this is the castor oil that I'm using, Tropic Isle. You gotta mix this up. I wouldn't suggest waiting to the last minute. I would not suggest waiting until last minute. My hair dries pretty fast, even when I was relaxed. But it still takes time, and I don't like my hair to feel like it's swelling up because it's not completely dry. So, that's just me. Next, um, you want to decide what type of part you will have. I think I'm going to go for a middle part this time, just because I haven't had one in quite a while. So make your part. I kind of don't want a middle part because I feel like it draws attention straight, like direct, just straight to the face. Which I mean, I love my middle parts. Even when I got sew-ins, braids, I've always want a middle part. That's just my thing. But right now, my skin is kind of. Kind of up and down as you can see Use whatever gel you want. Please do not come for me in the comments, come for each other, be going back and forth. Like, it's really not that serious. Use whatever gel you want. So, I'm going to use uh, Ampro, Pro Style, Super Hold, Styling Gel, like basic, classic gel. That's just what it is. I did have a big bottle of the Eco Styler Olive Oil. I ran out, but I did try the Eco Styler um, olive oil, shea butter, and black castor oil and flaxseed all in this uh, one gel. It was cool. It smells amazing. Like, I would wear this as a perfume, but um, I don't feel like it really, it really holds my hair down. Artist gel, like, we already know the whole Eco Styler is killing us and blah, blah, blah. And it's cancer. And I came from it. I jumped on the bandwagon of, oh my God, I'm never using Eco Styler gel again. And then I seen, 
I don't know the girl name. She was light skinned as well. Really big smile. Pretty. And she was like, everything we do got consequences to it. Like, if I'm going to be worried about my gel, then I can't wear nails. I can't wear some makeup. I'm like, she got a point. She definitely got a point. I'm still looking for other gels, but I mean, what can you do? Even the food we eat. We don't know what we, what we really eat. To the medications. Like, we don't know what we take it. You want to really, sorry, I'm doing laundry. You want to really get into your roots. You only need one squinchy. Some people call these rubber bands, whatever you want to call them. Um, squinchy is what I call them. You only need one. Some people use like two and three because they want it to be extra tight because I guess they fear that the ponytail or bun will like pop off. But if you pan it down enough, it'll be okay. That's how I feel. And I don't like that really super tight feeling like I just cannot stand that it gives me a major headache so no one ponytail holder is good enough for me Like always I use too much um, product Okay. Girl, I got a baby now. <laughs> it's growing. Slowly but surely. But it is growing. Okay y'all, so it's the next day. My hair is dry, but unfortunately, my part is basically gone. Like, it doesn't look like it's anything there. Just a little bit. So I don't really know what happened, but whatever. 
wet hair I use the hair I use um, is just basic Marley hair this brand is by free trust it's the Cuban twist I don't have the packaging I'll just add like a picture of it here basic puffy Marley hair I'm just gonna kind of fluff it out a little bit and you know because we don't want a thin looking ponytail and speaking of the ponytail you can make it as thick or as you know thin as you like I feel like my head is big therefore I need like a nice size ponytail like four strands not enough not enough I think a few more strands stretch it stretch it out Okay, next, I think I got my ponytail as fluffy as I wanted. So, take a squinchy, go through. Is it going? Okay, just once for the first time. Turn it around. No, I'm sorry. Twist it. Okay. Now you have this. As far as my hair goes. yeah so what i'm doing now is just securing the actual puff part i guess that's what you want to call it so i'm just taking some basic flat black bobby pins okay and just making sure that everything is kind of formed together around that um, ponytail, my natural ponytail.
I can't really tell how it looks. Okay, now if you got a little minute, take your scarf, I almost hit myself, take your scarf and like, you know, tie your edge down. Y'all know this stuff, y'all know. So, I'm finished pretty much. This is my twisted ponytail. I find it to be pretty simple. It's just when I'm like really trying to attach it <laughs> to my head that I'm concentrating. But other than that, I think ponytails and buns are so simple. I love them. I'm so happy that I'm at a point in my hair journey where I can actually get my hair into a ponytail. But yes, y'all, like this is it. You can even add like different colors if you want it and like twisted it in. Whatever you want to do. It's pretty simple. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I tried to be as informative as I could without losing my train of thought or concentrating too much but i hope you guys like this video i think i am going to do more hair tutorials with my natural hair so stay tuned see you later